guys, I'm so scared right now. Oh, it's all going on. No, I'm going. Hi guys. Hi. Okay, hey guys, I'm back home right now. If you're seeing the different environment, I moved houses. That will be a discussion for another video. But in here we have my GCSE results. It's very much, very much scattered. Like if you saw in the reaction video, you saw how happy I was with my English literature grade. Like in, if you saw my, if you watched my GCSE. Um, for my first week of GCSE video, you would see how much I actually wanted to do so well in English literature, and I, I, I that I did. Okay, so considering that I came in literally the middle of year ten, I came to a new country. Like guys, I think I did well. I think I did well. So for my Nigerian viewers, I'm gonna put the old grade boundaries right here so you can see like the difference between the A's and A stars and like nines. So like the alphabets and the numbers. And I'm just gonna read it straight out. Cause this is it, like this is this sheet of paper. I was worried like oh, I could there are sometimes I could not sleep. I had nightmares. I woke up in the middle of the night, but I woke up in I woke up in the middle of the night literally scared and this is the end so I'm just gonna read it out so um RE that's religious studies I got a seven which you know what I'm okay I've been I can't usually get a seven I think the one the part that brought me down was probably my Islam but it is what it is my Islam part it is what it is I got a seven and then in science I got a seven six I was a few marks away from a seven seven it's okay and um business i got six you know that business i thought i did so good in the business business exam it is what it is um history i got seven which is okay um english literature i got an eight ah i'm so happy for english literature um maths i got six guys you do not understand maths oh the maths paper one if you do ed excel maths paper one you know that paper was horrendous gosh i literally walked out of the exam hall and i cried i was crying so much because i thought i did so bad that like i literally skipped like five questions the last five questions and the five questions cost like 20 marks and i thought i did so bad i literally had a nightmare that i got a four in maths pulled out with six and a six is what i needed for college and a six is a b so that's okay that's okay and then for drama i got a distinction to uh level two distinction which is like a nine so i got a nine in drama you know i got an eight in history oh no i got a nine in drama i got an eight in english literature and if you are um, wondering why i'm not saying my english language something was wrong with the English language in my school, so they're getting remarked. But in my English language speaking, I got a distinction. So yeah. But guys, I just want to thank God for these results. Like, I actually worked so hard, and I think that if I had come earlier, like to my school, I would have done so much better. But for the time I came up for the effort I put in, like I think I really did like very good. Like this, I can't say all oh, my days. I wish I did this. I wish I got this because what's done is done and these grades got me into college the college that i not the, the sixth form college that i want the sixth form college that i've been I've like lit, i got a conditional offer and these grades like will guarantee me an unconditional offer for the sixth form so what more can i ask for 
I got good grades, I got into the sixth form I wanted, my parents are happy, I'm happy. I just want to give the glory to God, like literally, if not for God, if not for God, I would have not succeeded because it's God's plan for his children to succeed. God said that you'll be the head and not the tail, you'll be the top and not below. And I just want to give all the glory to God, all the honor, adoration. And if you got your GCSE results today, I hope that you got the grades you wanted. I hope that you got into the college you wanted, the sixth form you wanted. And if you didn't, just know that there's always life beyond this piece of paper. It's literally just a piece of paper. So, yeah, I just hope that everyone got what they wanted. And if you're coming into year 11 next year, just put in the work like just put in the work and you will do well but thank you guys so much for watching um make sure to like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you in the next video thank you bye